Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is back on the job tonight, today in a historic vote. Texas senators acquitted Paxton of 16 articles of impeachment. Paxton released a statement saying, Today, the truth prevailed. The truth could not be buried by mudslinging politicians or their powerful benefactors. I've said many times, seek the truth, and that is what was accomplished. He went on to say the weaponization of the impeachment process to settle political differences is not only wrong, it is immoral and corrupt. Now that this shameful process is over, my word to defend our constitutional rights will resume. Political reporter Jack Fink was there as senators voted this morning and is live at the Texas Capitol with reaction tonight. Jack. Well, Jason, this was not only a historic day at the Texas Capitol, but an emotional one, too. Democrats say they are disappointed, and some Republicans in the Senate, well, they're downright angry. Finding of acquittal is entered as to Article 20. Attorney General Ken Paxton wasn't in the Senate chamber when a majority of senators voted to acquit him of all 16 impeachment articles and to drop the remaining four against him. The Secretary of State and Attorney General Warren Kenneth Paxton, Jr. is hereby at this moment reinstated to office. Paxton is back on the job. His wife, Senator Angela Paxton, who couldn't take part in the deliberations and in the voting, congratulated her husband's attorneys. They told reporters they received no leaks and did not know how the votes were going to go. The, the attorney general is excited and ready to get back to work, and that's what he's going to do. And this is good, and now it's over. And Ken Paxton is the attorney general of the state of Texas. On most of the impeachment articles, two Republicans, Kelly Hancock of North Richland Hills and Robert Nichols of Jacksonville, joined Democrats in wanting to convict. Hancock issued this statement, quote, It was my constitutional obligation to seek the truth based on the facts made available through witness testimony and all documents admitted into evidence, then vote accordingly. My vote on each article reflects that responsibility, and none was taken lightly. Democrat Nathan Johnson of Dallas praised the senators. But they voted their conscience, and they voted their intellect, and they were careful, and they were courageous. He said there were more Republican senators who were in the middle during deliberations until they learned how others would vote. It was clear that there were not going to be enough votes to convict, and then the dam breaks. Democrat Royce West of Dallas says he's disappointed, especially because of the message he believes the verdict sends. Frankly, what we did today, we lowered the bar. We lowered the expectation bar for fitness for office for the future. What the majority sent today was a message that, irrespective of his behavior, he's still fit for office and it's okay. But some Republicans in the Senate, including the lieutenant governor, sharply criticized House Republicans for impeaching Paxton. The speaker and his team rammed through the first impeachment of a statewide official in Texas in over 100 years while paying no attention to the precedent that the House set in every other impeachment before. Millions of dollars were wasted. Republican Bob Hall, whose district includes Dallas County, agreed with Patrick. I voted for dismissal on all of this because the procedure was not followed. We should have never had the trial. This trial painted an accurate and clear picture of an out-of-control attorney general. Republican Andrew Murr, board chair of the House impeachment managers, pushed back. I would not do anything differently. The House acted pursuant to its rules, statutes, and the Constitution. And the lieutenant governor has now called for a full audit to find out how much taxpayer money the House spent on investigating and conducting this impeachment against Paxton. As for the attorney general, he is still reportedly under federal investigation and still faces a trial on state securities fraud charges. He has denied any wrongdoing. He'll be back in a Houston courtroom next month. We're live at the Texas Capitol. Jack Fink, CBS News, Texas.